All right, we might um, wait for a few more people to jump on and then we will get into it. So if you're joining me, I am just going to go over. Um, I put up a story the other day that uh, asked you guys if you wanted to hear more about what I'm doing. And it was a resounding yes. I had over 25 people come back saying yes, tell us more. Not one person said no. So here I am. And I brought my business partner along. This is Rhonda. Uh, Rhonda's a nutritional therapist and she's going to be, um, I'm going to be doing an interview style thing with her today and she's the pro so she can tell you how it all works. Uh, but I also want to go over uh, what it is that I'm doing over that gut feeling because it's, um, it's very relevant to um, everyone basically. So I've got a few people on now so I'll jump into it, won't um, take up too much of your time. Uh, so that gut feeling was born because I, um, if you know me, me and much about my history, I used to be an accountant and um, after dad passed away, I I just didn't really want to um, do something that I wasn't passionate about for the rest of my life. And, and while I enjoyed doing the accounting side of things, um, it just, my heart wasn't in it anymore. And um after dad passed, I was like, you know, it, life's too short to do something that you're not passionate about, basically. So I did a bit of soul searching and um, I was talking to a girlfriend on, on the phone one day and um, she, a member of her family, had been suffering with some um, health issues and um, I had been reading a lot, a lot, a lot about it and um, for quite some time and it was something that I was quite passionate about and she's rural as well and she mentioned that, um, you know, there was no support for families like her own uh, out in the country and she was having to drive hours and hours and hours to get the therapy that was needed and um, she also mentioned that there's so much information online that she didn't know where to start uh, with it all and what was true and it was just too much it was just so overwhelming for her so um, you know I was like well I know a fair bit about this stuff I'm very passionate about it and that's what I want to do I want to take the overwhelm out of it for families so uh, I continued on, um, you know, that the whole idea of that gut feeling was born through that and uh, I, to do what I wanted to do, I needed to do a bit more study. So um, I was listening to a podcast one day and uh, Rhonda was on and uh, she was talking about things like oxidative stress and mitochondria and glutathione and it, it was all the stuff that I'd been reading about for quite some time. And um, she, what she was doing in her practice and the things that she was talking about um, really resonated with me and I wanted to basically do what Rhonda is doing. And so I got a bit stalkerish and I reached out to Rhonda and I said exactly that, that this is what I want to do. Would you mind having a chat with me and pointing me in the right direction with my study? And uh, Rhonda, thank goodness, <laughs> uh, took... Uh, you know, she said, yep, sure, let's catch up and have a conversation. And so we did. And um, she's sorted me out with the study side of things. And uh, we've since become business partners. Um, Rhonda is quite an inspirational lady and she really, really knows her stuff. And I would love it if you could share with our listeners, Rhonda, what it is that you do and a, a bit about yourself and, and your background, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, sure. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. This is all new to me. So, um, you know, old and moldy. That's <laughs> my eldest. He's 29 this year. I'm old and moldy. Um, but I'm, getting, I'm tech savvy. I'm tech savvy. Just jumping on here. It's like, woo goals. Um, okay, so my name is Wanda Muller. Um, I'm a nutritional therapist and um, I've got many years. So I've studied with um, my metabolic and neurological developmental digestive conditions um, as well as MAPS which is a Medical Academy of Paediatric Special Needs Bio-Individual Nutrition Institute Biobalance I, yeah the list goes on um, I offer sorry that's my dog cooking in the background uh, I offer family health and development solutions but I predominantly work with women and children uh, and my passion is mental health paediatric special needs and natural because I am a grandmother now and I've got to stay strong and keep running in my um, 
so just a little bit about me. I grew up in central Queensland, Ireland, and um, we have four children. Uh, the two youngest ones are living with us um, on the Sunshine Coast. And like I said, I'm a mother now. I have a grandson. He's um, four months and already trying to crawl. He's absolutely. Um, yeah, I know, right? He's, yeah, all our boys, they were up and running for eight months. They've got to, yeah, I just can't wait to see him. He's going to create so much trouble. It's like, what's going no, on? No, I bet. <laughs> Don't they all? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Um, but, yeah, so we're living on the Sunshine Coast. Um, anyone that's familiar with Montville, Mullaney, we're on the foothills. We're on Anchorage. It's just beautiful. Love it. Um, so my youngest was the reason I started nutritional therapy. Like, Tony, you heard on the podcast, I was to speak about in regards to my, my history and my journey, which I'll be sharing a little bit about today. Um, but I started to study nutritional therapy back in 2009. And prior to um, really, you know, just immersing myself into this emerging field of genomics and epigenetics, um, I was a small business coach. I was doing accounting, um, you know, uh, marketing, office management, things like that. Uh, so some of the information, if you're if you're really new to the, to this kind of thing, some of this information may seem really foreign or you know new. I just ask that you do keep an open mind because when I first started to hear about this, I just thought, wow, this is really out there. You know, like gut health. We people talk about gut health today. Most people understand the importance of it. Yeah. When I first started to talk about gut health back in 2009, people were looking at me as if I was loopy. Nutrigenomics, epigenetics is like that now. Yes, we are at the forefront. So people that are jumping on and really tuning into this now, this is going to ab absolutely change so many things, especially in regards to natural health. So long story cut short, um, my baby boy was reaching all of his milestones. Like I mentioned before, you know, he was running at eight months like his two big brothers, he was climbing everything, was a have a chat like his big sister, he was always running around with her favourite Dorothy, the dinosaur tail roaring at his mum, you know, mum pretending to be scared and running away. Um, so he, he was doing, you know, all the, the normal stuff, milestones, but his immune system was severely compromised. Every little thing that would go around, he would catch. Um, the other thing that we noticed was there were black rings under his eyes and we were in Townsville. Our two young ones were born in Townsville and, um, you know, you're on acreage, so half the time the kids are running around naked pair of jocks on or whatever and like and they're quite all of the children but what what we noticed was that he was almost translucent he would get a tan and it was like it would just wash off the next day always really pale so anything like that that's immediately you know, that's all gut okay that's major gut dysfunction if anything you see that kind of stuff um at the age of uh, 20 months we started to see significant uh regression and by the age of three, he'd lost all of his speech and language, his fine motor skills, his bowels stopped working. Is that me giving that feedback? Do you know? I think so, yeah. Is that okay? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, it's it's a bit crackly here and there, but it's not too right. too bad. Okay, as long as you can still hear me. Um, so, yeah, with, with his bowels, we were lucky if he opened his bowels, he had a bowel movement once every six days um he lost all of his eye contact um we couldn't get outside the door without him stressing out i'm just going to see if i can move this a bit maybe if that i've got a nut on a box so is that a nut that's a different way all right so yeah but he was in constant fear of his surroundings and new people um he started to experience um, skin concerns, um, breathing concerns. Um, he went down from a smorgasbord of food down to five foods. Um, so that's not what you call a pig feeder. That was a feeder from hell. It, that was, it was all the white foods, carbohydrates, like that. Um, he was also non-responsive to his name. And I'm not talking, you know, like the male gene where they tune out from the tones. It was like you would go yeah. up to call his name and he, it was like he was in his own little bubble. He was non-responsive, yeah? Um, it yeah. was a real struggle to get outside the front door with hell on wheels. And I, you know, I had two other kids um, and, and plus I was caring for my father-in-law as well. Um, I guess where I was, you know, 
going to was that I was becoming really overwhelmed and frustrated and just exhausted because well-meaning doctors and health professionals, you know, just kept saying, oh, it's behavioural issues, um, you know, um, maybe you should do a parenting course, Rhonda. You know, he's like the young poor children. Yeah, what do I know? Um, and we were spending truckloads of money and time going around from, you know, doctors, uh, specialists, therapists, et cetera, asking 11 a different questions and just constantly getting the runaround. Um, but often I would, you know, they would always refer back. To, I couldn't help it, anything, unless I had a script. So it was always, you know, antibiotics, um, antidepressants, because you need to calm down. And it was like, oh, you know, the red wine and chocolate's working so far. Um, you know, my waist looks really small because my bottom was growing every day because <laughs> I was inhaling the chocolate and crying into my red <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it was almost like antihistamines, puffers, or it, it was pretty much a script. They really had nowhere to go other than that. Um, so yeah, I guess, you know, after me catching up with my girlfriends and them reassuring me that I wasn't loopy, um, nine months later, I just put, you know, the mama bear face on and said, I'm not leaving here until I get answers. So um, we finally received a diagnosis in May 2008 with a neurological developmental condition. And I was really fortunate. Um, we were on a two-year contract with uh, for my husband. We were in Sydney at that time where he received his diagnosis. Um, and I, I just, you know how things just happen? You know, things fly and, and things that are just meant to happen. Yeah. Um, we were introduced to a, um, a whole um, plethora of doctors and paediatricians, etc., and um, they were steering me towards studying nutritional therapy and um, mental health, paediatric special needs. So that's when I just threw myself into it. So nutritional therapy is different to being a nutritionist or a dietitian. Um, it's really studying specific dietary theories. And so I've studied over 100 different dietary theories and because it's not a one-size-fits-all. You and I, Tony, could be identical twins and what's working it could be problematic for me, not because of our genetic profile, but because of our environment. And that's where you know, epigenetics really plays a big role. If I've had a lot of a trauma in my life in regards to you know, relationships or um, whatever it might be, that is going to impact upon my cellular health and my genetics. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, that's that's the real um, difference. And so I really focused on nutrient um nutrient therapy and that was the backbone to recovering my son's health and development so pretty much what we did was 2009 we really started to focus on dietary changes six months in he was actually really ready and eager to learn um, we were two months into intensive early intervention so what that means is you know speech and language occupational therapy music all that type of stuff and we noticed that he was actually able to um, retain some of those tools and strategies that he was learning, um, because we're you know we're really taught to remove what's harming and replenish with what's healing, and we were really focused on reducing that uh, free radical damage, stress, the mitochondria, like I was talking about before, and, and restoring the gut. Um, so yeah, we started uh, full time early intervention in January two thousand and nine. So that was six hours a day, five days a week straight and he walked into that totally non-verbal um sitting in the corner pretty much bashing his head on the ground or going like this and he, him, he would just run a mile he was in constant fear um so yeah pretty much um what we noticed was that his bowels started working his immune system grew stronger each day to the point where his immune system is stronger than all of us now um his um stress self-managed behavioural regulation, um, you know, um, he, he wasn't freaking out about his surroundings. We could start to go to football again, which, you know, football's like religion in our family. My husband played for a military. Um, so, yeah, it's it's really quite big. Um, but he, he just came back to us, you know. It, it's like we lost our bag of boy. So he was becoming, you know, cheeky again and he was joking and he was just an absolute pleasure. He wasn't freaking out every step of the way. Um, so three years on, um, he was able to hold a conversation, you know, negotiating. In other words, he was arguing with mummy and daddy. And he's sibling, 
Um, he was able, you know, singing and playing guitar and drums because, you know, he was verbal, but fully verbal again by then. And, you know, girls like rock stars, mummy. And I was like, of course they do. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was doing karate and playing, you know, he was just reaching all of his milestones, developmental milestones. Um, he was initiating play, um, you know, because if anyone came up to him previously, he would run in the opposite direction because he didn't know how to interact. Um, he got into, um, you know, school prep and, uh, you know, was loving it. Grade one, he had five girlfriends because they were all couldn't decide, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so because of all these massive um, improvements, I just knew I had to shout it from the rooftops, yeah. I, I had to get it out there and all of my studies, I was putting it all into place and, you know, working with a professional with that first experience, to me, it's exactly what I was yearning but it wasn't around back then yeah it's you see a need fill a need you have to do it yourself just good the country girls and we can pick up the ball and run hey you know but um yeah so yeah what we were moved to, we were townsville and we moved to Mackay, and that's where i set up a, a typical bricks and water clinic in 2011 where everything i needed for my son right back in the early stages I set up. So we had speeches, OTs, health food store. We had nutritionists, health coaches. We were doing, you know, uh, cooking workshops. I had full-on equipment of sensory tools and equipment, um, pretty much everything that I was seeking back in 2008. So that was all the foundation. So nutritional therapy is the foundation. And then we were building all the therapies on top of that, Yes. That, that's like the bricks and, and you know, you're, you're laying the concrete slab and you're building the house on top of that, enabling our babies to reach their potential. So we were doing that nonstop, relentless, and it was a full-on struggle, but, you know, it's just what you do for your babies because every parent just wants the best, best for their children. Um, so fast forward to May 2016. It was actually our wedding anniversary. Um, his official diagnosis was removed. That was never my intention. I just wanted my baby boy back. You know, I wanted him to be healthy and happy and um, I wanted him to reach his true potential and, you know, do well at school, um, get a job, meet the girl of his dreams, get married and, and give me lots of grandchildren because, you know, it's all about me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. In a that's an amazing. That's an amazing story, Rhonda, and one I don't think that I'll ever tire of hearing. And uh, if you're listening, you can appreciate why it is that I reached out to Rhonda. Um, she definitely knows her stuff and um, there's nothing, you know, she's been there, done that with, with it all. And um, I can, you know, I, I understand where you're coming from, where you want to, your boy to reach his full potential. It's actually a lot to do with why I got into the whole gut health side of things myself, you know, um, by no means was my eldest um, developmentally delayed or anything like that, but he had skin conditions and, um, and I was, he, he didn't quite react to mainstream medical stuff the way that a lot of people do. He just couldn't tolerate a lot. And so that led me down the path of natural therapies and um, looking into gut health and ways that I can assist him with that. So, um, but I mean, that's, a massive, massive journey for you. And it must have taken a huge toll on your own health. Um, and I, I know that that's why you're very passionate now about helping other mothers that might find themselves in the same situation or, or other situations where they're just as, uh, you know, got a lot on their plate and burnt out. Do you, Would you mind talking us through that side of the journey for us, please? Yeah, sure. Um, you're absolutely right. So, you know, I work from home at my clinics at home and everything's all online and, you know, phone, FaceTime, Zoom, Skype appointments, etc. because I know exactly what it's like. There's nothing anyone could ever say or do that would shock me because I've been there, you know, in a big, dark, mm -hmm. deep hole. I will think, oh, my God, is there light at the end of the tunnel? You know, life is just too hard. We're supposed to be thriving, not just surviving. Um, but, yeah, um, back in 2016, um, two things happened. Like I mentioned, my son's official diagnosis was removed. But my health, I, I, I think, you know, when you sort of get to a certain point, you think, oh, fantastic, I can sort of, you know, he's got to a certain degree, which I already knew, you know, like he was developing, had no support required at school, I think, you know, mainstream school. Um, 
but running the clinic and trying to educate as many people as I could um, while my husband was working away to pay for all these therapies, you know, so I was running everything myself and having a full-time business as well. Yeah, I did. I burnt myself into the ground. Plus I was caring for my father-in-law and, you know, yeah, my energy just kept constantly plummeting, you know, I, I'd get to the point where I couldn't get even into the clinic. I'd have to work from the comfort of my own bed. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty full on. So, you know, we we really had to take a serious look at it and reevaluate. And that's when you know I closed the clinic down and started working from home um, to support people on my you know on my own hours and, and re-energizing, re you know, restoring my own health. And as a nutritional therapist, I was already eating well. I was already taking all the right vitamins and minerals and everything that I knew that I needed to do and surrounded by, you know, just a fantastic group of like-minded females and, and men saying, you know, you know, whether they're carers or health professionals. So, you know, herbs and I was, I was doing a whole host of stuff, but it just wasn't enough for me to keep my energy levels up to where they need to be. I'd get back out. I love swimming. I love walking. Um, hiking and all those types of things, but as soon as I'd start to exercise again, I'd, I'd crash. I'd, I'd end up back in bed. Um, so yeah, it was it was really frustrating. So um, I guess um, December 2016, later that year, in December 2016, that's when we moved the family to Southeast Queensland. Um, December 6, 2016, and fast forward to 2018. A friend introduced me to a group of health advocates, very similar, they're all holistic, natural, not based. And um, they were all talking about this, um, you know, these products that are actually helping with oxidative stress and free radical damage. Had me um, research about mitochondrial dysfunction and gut health, and it was like, oh, big people. And um, and when I first heard about it, I thought it sounds too good to be true because all the things that I was doing for years to help with my son's oxidative stress and free radical damage in mitochondria. So, um, yeah, I was I, I pretty much, I was starting to meet more and more like-minded people and they were showing me some research and stuff that I thought this couldn't be true because... I was using food and vitamins and minerals um, to, to reduce the free radical damage and the oxidative stress, et cetera. Um, but that is like a one-to-one -one ratio. What they were talking about, Tony, was stuff that was proven to reduce oxidative stress by 40% in the first 30 days. And, and that's when I just went, yeah, no, nah, this can't be real. But when I looked into the research, I was almost thinking, Seriously, why haven't I heard about this before, you know? Um, I personally believe if I'd heard about this, um, I wouldn't have burnt myself into the ground. I would have had, you know, when, you, when you've when you got these things happening, your your stress levels are always high, okay? And you're burning the candle at both ends. If I had all of these, all this information available to me earlier rather than using, you know, foods and vitamins and stuff, that one-to-one -one ratio, I would have been able to wipe out millions of free radicals, which would have then reduced the amount of oxidative stress. And it would have been so much quicker. And I personally believe I probably would have halved the duration, the time that it took to recover myself. Out. You know, that's mm -hmm. for me, you know, I was like, oh my God, this would have saved me so much money, you know? Um, so yeah, it's, to me, that was absolutely significant. And, um, and that was the very one of the very first things as well, that when I started to study with the Medical Academy of Pediatrics and Special Needs, they said, you know, you need to focus on removing what's harming and replenish with what's going to restore and really focus on reducing that free radical damage and oxidative stress, mitochondria, restore that dysbiosis. And, um, yeah, this is something that's fast-tracking all of that. And I was like... Why aren't more health professionals talking about this? You know, like I, I go to conferences every year to make sure I'm up to, up to speed with what's going on and, you know, new breakthroughs and no one ever mentioned this. And But then also, you know, like my levels and stuff, they haven't crashed. 
since I've been using these products. Um, you mm-hmm. know, that's absolutely significant to me. I'm back doing what I love, back doing all the things that I couldn't do before without crashing again. Um, you know, my back's, uh, my husband's back discomfort appeared, um, you know, all of these aches and creaks and, you know, all those types of things. Got, um, the other thing that was significant for us as well when we started was that the youngest who I've recovered, he's exactly like his daddy, absolute supreme athlete, you know, um, and, but he would go and play football and score, you know, three, four tries in one game, but then he'd come home and absolutely deplete for the rest of the day. And getting up and going to school the next day, it would be a real effort. Now he's like, bring it on. He, he can play games. Yeah. To the point where now he's been selected for representative football, swimming, you know, athletics. It's just amazing. And so, you know, the family and I have been on the activators now for 16 months um, that are really addressing free radical damage and the oxidative stress and the mitochondria, all of those things um, that are all 100% natural and it's all science-based. Um, but one thing I, I really wanted to, before it actually got me over the line with that, I'd been stocking products uh, and using products in for quite a bit. And uh, when a US pediatrician jumped on a call with me on a training call um, and showed me that the products that I was recommended to uh, buy conferences that I was attending and and going to training, um, the product that I'd been using and recommending, he showed me that this other product that he was recommending was seven times more effective than what I was using. That's incredible. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm shouting this from the rooftop, you know, because mums are coming to me absolutely stressed out of their brains and broken, yeah? They're coming to me about little Johnny, wherever it is, and well, I'm going to be helping them with their, their – but my main focus is them because yeah. when the primary care breaks, the whole family breaks. And mm-hmm. mums are coming back to me now that we're so stressed out of – brains are now calm, focused, motivated, can actually implement, you know, the changes, the strategies that are required or, you know, the home things that some of them are having to implement now during the lockdown. Um, they're mm. able to with that. You know, the kids are calm, focused, able to sit still, um, pick up the tools and strategies that they're being taught, you know, because that's just what we want. You know, if we're spending a truckload of money and time on therapies, we want them to work. So yeah. when you reach out to me and you're saying, you know, you want to you want to do what I'm doing, I'm like, bring it on because I'm trying to find a tribe of like-minded people so we can pass our knowledge on to others, you know, and mm-hmm. on to our clients, our customers, our family, friends, teaching the public how to reach their true potential because that's what it's all about. It's all about community mm-hmm. and especially yeah. in regional areas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a hundred percent agree. And I think that's what I really loved about all of this was the amount of science that's behind it. And it was stuff that I, like I said, I've been reading about all of this stuff for years and years and years. So when I I saw you presented me with the science, I was like, holy crap! And um, I, <laughs> it was actually after that I started reading some of the testimonials. And if you're following my page, you would have seen some of my own personal testimonials. And and that's where this is um, generated from. But I started reading the testimonials and I was like, no way, this stuff sounds too good to be true. They're like it, the, the stories that I've heard about and, and continue to hear about just blow my mind. So um, it wasn't just those testimonials, though I had Brode in the background and he's a little bit, um, he brings me down a few levels every now and then and he's like, you know, just, just do a little bit of a test before you go and share it with everyone. And so that's exactly what I did. I um, tested on my friends and family and uh, you can go to that gut feeling, the testimonial um, on my highlight, you can go there and have a look at some of the feedback that I've got. It's um, absolutely amazing. So um, now in relation to the science though, I I feel like we've been talking for quite some time now. It's gone a little bit longer than I thought. Um, But the science is quite in depth. But if you want to hear more about that, please um, shoot me a message and I can, uh, Rhonda, would you be open to doing a presentation where we talk a bit more about the specifically about the products and the science behind each of the products and how they work? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe um, 
we can do a live or maybe we can do a Zoom where I can actually show some because I'm very much a visual learner. Um, so if yeah, like, yeah. You know, we can do both. I don't mind. Um, but okay. I just find sometimes a visual helps in regards to explaining the science because I won't go too deep as, as much as I am yeah. a bit of a nerd in regards to the science. Yeah, um, yeah we'll just keep sure. it simple. For sure, absolutely. All right, wonderful. Well, I'll put like a little question and answer box or something on a slide in my stories later. And guys, if you're interested in hearing more, please let me know. I'm more than happy to share this. Um, in fact, I have been trying to shout it from the rooftops and I apologize if, um, you know, you've been sitting back going, what the hell is she doing? It's not um, that I haven't been, you know, trying to keep it a secret or anything like that. It's more so just the fact that it's just so in depth that um, a single story or a single Instagram post just won't do it justice. So uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Rhonda, for coming on today. I um, really enjoyed doing the live, actually. I'll have to do a few more of these. I was quite nervous at the start, but I, I think we got there in the end. Yeah, you're a natural. I just need to work out oh. that feedback. <laughs> Get that sorted. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, um, I'll have to send you a photo of what I use. Dallas has made this, like, house thing, and it's got paddle pop sticks, and I stick <laughs> I stick my phone in behind there, so I think that's why my sound's getting through okay. Yeah, maybe. Awesome. Sounds like All right. a plan. Thanks so much, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.